குலம் தரும் செல்வம் தந்திடும் அடியார் படுத்துயராயினவெல்லாம் நிலம் தர செய்யும் நிழ்விசும் பருளும் அருளோடு பெருநிலம் அளிக்கும் வலம் தரும் மற்றும் தந்திடும் பெற்ற தாயினும் ஆயினச் செய்யும் நலம் தரும் சொல்லை நான் கண்டு கொண்டேன் நாராயணா என்னும் நாமம் தியாயன் கிருத்தேயஜன்யஜ்ஞைகி திரேதாயாம் துவாபரே அர்ச்சையன் எதாப்னோதி ததாப்னோதி கலௌ சங்கீர்த்திய கேசவம் இஃப் ஐ ஆஸ்க் எனி படி விச் இயர் ஆர் வி இன் people would instantly say that we are in 2018 if we just think about it and do a minus 2019 just think about what would have been there at that point of time so 2018 years have passed by suppose i say what happened before 2019 years did we have plants did we have animals did we have the environment did we have the world did mankind exist did everything around us exist at that point of time if we deeply think about it the answer is a big s yes. everything was there at that point of time the world did exist at that point of time so how old is the world actually the answer to this is there in our scriptures bhagavatam deals in detail about this vishnu purana deals in detail about this in fact if we go home and look at the panjangam which is there in our puja rooms we will see that this is called as kali yugam according to the panjangam now what is kali yugam how many years does kali yugam comprise which year are we in now is all answered in this little book called panjangam today we are in the 5119th year of kali yugam and the total kali yuga is 432000 years now if kali yuga is that long did something exist prior to that before 5000 odd years what was there that was when our little krishna was born that was the time when dwapara yuga existed that was the time when mahabharata came into existence where the vyasa was there so how long was that that was kali yuga into 2 which is 4 lakh 32000 years into 2 which is 8 lakh 64000 years and what was prior to that that was the time when lord rama's avatar took place that was treta yuga for us and that was kali yuga into 3 which is 12 lakh 96000 years approx and prior to that we had eight another yuga which is called as krita yuga or satya yuga which is now kali yuga into 4 by now you all should know about it so it's kali yuga into 4 number of years and it is said that at that point of time people were much taller people were much happier they had a lot of focus and because their duration was longer they could do a lot of things which we are not able to do today they could achieve the lord just by deep concentration meditation and doing bhakti yoga and that is the reason i told the sloka which is dhyayan krite he during the krita yuga people could achieve the lord by doing dhyanam yajan yagnyaihi tretayam doing yagnyas and yagas was the source of achieve, achieving god during the treta yuga during dwapara yuga the physical closeness or the archana had to be done in order for them to achieve the lord in kali yuga are we able to do all that so what people say is hidapnoti tadapnoti kalau sankirtya keshavam so whatever people achieved in different yugas through their different modes of achieving the lord we are able to achieve the same result just by reciting the god's name kalau sankirtya keshavam in this kali yuga we can achieve the same thing by repeating the lord's name again and again the tamar shloka i recited before i started this episode was about the greatness of repeating the god's name kulam tarum selvam tandidum so what all can repeating the god's name give us the power of nama sangirtana it can give us the god's feet 
it can give us wealth it can give us heaven not only heaven it can give us the ultimate abode of moksha it can give us everything so the alvar says what is it not capable of giving you it can give you things which you cannot even imagine now just think about it a little baby is there and now the baby cries the neighbor is there in their house they calls the mom and say that look your baby is crying the mother instantly says that yeah i know he should be hungry so let him let me just feed him now after a while the baby cries again this time the mother knows that the baby is crying because the baby wants to sleep so she she just gives him a few pats and now the baby sleeps now after a while the baby cries again this time it's just wanting some attention it wants to grab the mother's attention so the moment the mother comes and plays with the baby the baby smiles now after a while the baby is thirsty it cries again the mother of course knows she gives some water to the baby the baby laughs at any given point of time even without the baby explicitly explaining what it actually needs the mother understands what a little one needs and gives exactly what her child needs now the mother knows the untold needs of the child now think about our god our god is not our mother just for this birth he has been our eternal mother from time immemorial for the four yugas and the repeated thousands of yugas for the infinite time our lord has been our mother he has been our atma bandhu which means that he understands the untold needs and gives us a lot more than what we can ever think about therefore our alvar says petra tayinum ayina cheyum the name of the lord does a lot more than what your actual mother can ever do to you petra tayinum ayinam cheyum so what can do all this nalam taram it can do all the good to you what is that narayana ennum namam the very name of the lord the names like narayana gives me all what i want in this life so such is the greatness of nama so for achieving all this in different yugas you had to have different things now imagine a patient comes to a doctor he has a severe stomach pain so he tells the doctor doctor i have a severe stomach pain i don't know when the stomach pain goes and when it comes but The fact of the matter is that I do suffer from a severe stomach pain. Now the doctor writes a lot of uh, examinations. He says you'll have to do a scan, you'll have to get this report done, you'll have to de- uh, do these tests. Now the patient takes these things, goes here and there, finds out different places where these tests are done and gets himself examined, comes back to the doctor and says, "Here are the reports." Now the doctor looks into all these reports and tells him look all the reports are fine so basically it might just be some gastric problem or indigestion now have these tablets you'll be fine now the patient has these tablets and he's fine so his problem is cured now diagnosing the problem was the major aspect of the issue the solution was relatively simple so also in today's time we are stressed all the time we run here and there we don't know what to do so at the end of it you know we go to so many temples we try to find out solutions in the name of prize chitta we try to do like so many things which our astrologer tells us who ko crook we want to get our solution but what should we actually do what is the current diagnosis the diagnosis is har nama eva nama eva nama eva mama jeevanam kalau nasti eva nasti eva nasti eva gatiranyata for this yuga called kali there is no other option except reciting the god's name again and again and again hari 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 that is the only solution available for this kali yuga that is what our ancestors have told us so we have to keep reciting the lord's name now the mother understands the untold needs of the little baby so also our lord krishna understands whatever we don't say because he is not our mother of just this age but he's been our eternal mother for yugas for infinite times 
he is being our mother so krishna knows what we want all we have to do is just call him out kanna krishna yadava madhusudana so if you call his name he is there to give you all what you need beyond what you need untold needs are taken care of by him krishnaya tubyam namaha